you're transferring to Calendar, if you're moving to us from some other calendaring product or another church management platform, it's kind of daunting, right? To have all of your events, all like I said, like all your large, small, medium, recurring, one-off events, to try and keep track of all that and get it into Calendar. Well, there is, uh, there, the, most of these products, especially like the, the larger ones, the big name ones, they have the ability to export all of that information and then Calendar has the ability to import all of that information. So if you go over to your other calendaring product and you figure out how to export an iCal file. So an iCal file, all it is is just one file on your computer that bundles up all the information of all the events that you have on it and it puts it into a single file. You can go over to Calendar now that you have that file, click on this settings gear right here and click import events. From here you select the file on your computer, you hit next, a little spinner is going to spin, and then what's going to happen is all of those events from the iCal file are going to get put into Calendar. So one really important thing to clarify here, you're not subscribing to your iCal feed from your other calendar. Uh, this is a snapshot. So what it does is when you export that file, it takes a snapshot of everything that was over here, and then when you import into Calendar, it just dumps that information into Calendar. There's no connection between your old calendar and Planning Center calendar. It's just a way to jumpstart your account and quickly move all these events over. So just bear in mind, any changes you make over in your other product are not going to be reflected in Calendar. This is a way to like jumpstart your Calendar account to say, hey, we are committing to Calendar, we are moving forward with Calendar. Um, that's what we're doing. So that's what the import is all about. Uh, that will get you started. You will have to go through and start booking rooms and resources for all those events, but this is a fantastic way to at least be able to see all of the things at your church and get it all in one place so you can get moving.